Hey, it's Jerry Only and my boy, Lon M. Fran. <laughs> you were in Rip Magazine. Yeah, back in the day. Back in the day. How old is this? Oh, thing? this base actually, this individual one isn't too old. They don't have a very long shelf life. They wind up breaking. Uh, but yes, yeah, about to tape a moment ago. The, the electric tape is on there, so when it breaks, I don't have to look for the pieces. <laughs> How many guitars have you gone through physically in your career? Uh, that's that, estimate. Back in the day, uh, I, I went through about 13 of them in, in a seven year period. And uh, with these new ones, they got graphite necks. Uh, I've gone through maybe about uh, 15 or 20 of them, uh, but it's more the rest of the guitar breaking and not the neck. The, the, the graphite is so much superior to wood. Do you still have your favorite axes from back when you first started playing? Any of them? Yeah, well, the funny thing is, I have the, the, the last bass uh, from the early era. Uh, it's number 13. I used to make rubber skulls. These ones are different. They're, uh, uh, I sculpted that. They're, uh, those are, uh, what you call it, uh, resin. Uh, and they shatter, but the other ones are made out of rubber. Uh, we were breaking strings and played with a pick, and I was popping strings every night in the middle of the show, and I would have to rethink everything I was doing to now find these other notes where I was so used to playing them where they were. So I said, to hell with this. So I made a nut at the top of my guitar that had, uh, I drilled holes through a solid piece of brass so the strings wouldn't pop off. And I put on uh, an E and an A and an E and an A. So I had two guitars on my neck, so I only played two strings. The whole time we were playing live, all that thrash stuff, I was playing with two strings. Right. But the neck would bend like this, and it would go, from under pressure. And uh, so then we start making our own hip bases, which we've got in a book here. Uh, I want to show them the book. It's a beautiful book, by the way. Tell, uh, me, you know, tell me about this guitar. Okay, this guitar I designed myself, uh, and we make it ourselves. Uh, it's made so that the neck has got 24 frets on it. Okay, not many bases have got that. All right? And then uh, I, the, you had to cut the body away so you could get up that high on the neck from this side here. So uh, the design is actually... It's, it, it looks like a, it's, it's two bats upside down against the trailer. And then we made our own pickups. These are brand new. They're not on the in the book. These I made myself. I was just talking to EMG, and uh, but my I think Seymour Duncan's going to do them for me. Put them out. But uh, you know, we make our own stuff. We found that everything we use, we break. So you know, it was a matter of coming up with uh, building our own shit. So, uh, you know, we had a machine shop. Our you know our whole life. And, uh, I still work in a machine shop. It keep, keeps me level. You know, what it does is that... Your hands are working man's hands. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I work... Okay. You know, when I'm home, I'm in the machine shop, and when I'm on the road, I'm breaking equipment. And yeah, you're an artist. I, you're a <laughs> lunatic uh, luthier. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> how is, how is the, your, like, desire to get on stage in front of people? Changed or oh my over. God! Uh, you know, I, I find the only time I really feel alive is when I'm playing. I mean, you know, holidays with family and stuff like that is great, but I find that freedom comes with the ability to let go. And uh, you know, for me, I was thinking about that. I, 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 you know, I can see why people will never retire because it, it, you know it's just something that you, you crave. It's, it's something that becomes a part of you. So. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very. Uh, so you don't retire, but you play until you stop playing. And you, your life you, you play like, till you drop. Like our friend Lenny. Yeah, and uh, my son's in the band now. So I mean, we're going into our 40th year. Wait, your son's in the band. My son's in the band. I want him to take it to 75. I'm going to 50, minimal. Uh, if I can get the Misfits to be a hundred year band, I mean, that's my goal. My goal isn't in, is in record uh, Billboard charts or any of this crap. Right. My my goal is I'm, I'm fighting time. Trying, trying to be here for a century. Entropy. And I'm doing a damn good job at it. You are. <laughs> I know, because that's the thing. Our heroes are dying because that's just the way of the world. Yeah, they eat too much sugar, man. Yeah, they <laughs> eat too much sugar. You're going to exist, man. Thank you. Well, thank you guys so much.